Could you just make that go a bit further in the back? I don't want you ever to say that to me again. <laughs> How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. Not done one of these in a little while, but today it's time to do one. We're going to be taking a look at one of the new cars which has just been added to the game. In fact, we're doing one of those today and we're doing another one of those tomorrow as well. It's quite exciting, lots of uploads coming finally. But anyway, the Lego Bugatti Chiron has been added to the game as of the recent update 19. It's like the fifth Lego car we have in the game now, I believe. Now, the interesting thing about this car that's been added is apparently it has a lot more horsepower than the standard Bugatti Chiron. So I'm going to quickly show you how to unlock the Chiron. We're going to see how much horsepower you can put in it, which I've heard is nearly 1,800 horsepower. Very quick speed test to see how much faster it actually is, if it is faster at all. But as we can see, the normal Bugatti Chiron is 1,479 horsepower. That's the most you can get it. So let's have a look at the new Lego Chiron. Now just quickly showing anyone who doesn't know how to get the Lego Chiron. This is my first time loading the Lego expansion since the update and apparently, yes, up here, the Lego Bugatti Chiron Speed Champions. All you need to do is do this race and then you get the Lego Chiron. So I'm going to do this real quick and then we'll have a look at the car. There we go. Right, we can see the stock, it's 1,479 horsepower but apparently you can put some upgrades on it so that's interesting right i'm just gonna i'm gonna skip to the end of this race no one needs to see me racing and then we'll see just what horsepower we can put into this beast so boom finished so how to get the car you do that race it'll say complete and there you go you unlock the car and once you've unlocked it you can go to your garage and there it is it's a lot taller than the standard chiron but yeah, let's see what we can do to this thing. So straight away, we've got engine. That's quite interesting. What have we got for conversion? Uh, rear wheel drive, we don't want to do that. That would be stupid. We've got rally dampers, a bit of weight reduction. Ooh, quite a bit of weight reduction. Jesus, can you do that in the standard Chiron? And then we can add, oh, 1,740 horsepower. I'm surprised you can't do that with the standard Chiron, so yeah. That is, wow, that's well over a thousand horsepower per ton in this thing. Now let's just see how much faster it actually is compared to the standard Chiron. So let's go to a little drive. I'm actually going to flick back to England real quick. Nice one. Oh, of course it's raining. It would be, wouldn't it? Well, straight away, I can tell you this has a different engine sound or at least a higher pitched one. If you listen to the red line, it redlines higher. Just listen to this. That's interesting. I wonder why they've done that. If you don't know what I mean, in this car, when you're at 7,000 RPM, it sounds like you're at eight. It's higher pitched. It sounds like you're at higher revs than you actually are. I wonder if that's intentional. Oh, it handles quite nicely for what it is i think we should have a look at the top speed of this thing and then compare it to the other chiron it's quite strange that they've gave it given it a bigger engine sound oh god i didn't realize how fast we were going there 265 270 271 272 hits a complete brick wall at 272 272 is the top speed then that's a bit disappointing so one thing i do want to do is this acceleration test i'm going to go from naught to 220 miles per hour then jump in the normal chiron and see how fast that does that so we'll see actually in fact i'm going uphill here let's find a straight place all right i'm at a straight enough bit i'm going to try to shift all right let's go from naught to 220 and compare it to the normal chiron I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Right, let's see what it's like in the normal shear on now. Here we go. Let's time this. Shh. 
straight away I can tell you feels a lot slower wow honestly I was expecting it to feel about the same but wow that Lego Chiron feels a lot faster honestly it's not honestly it doesn't feel 1800 horsepower fast but um wow that's interesting I hope you know what I mean by the engine sound being different I'll do a comparison see if you can hear So if you've watched this video in the goal to see if the Lego Chiron is faster and how much faster, it is faster by a fair bit by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go into a drag race with computers in normal Chirons and Lego Chirons and we'll let them go and we'll see what wins just to see if the stock Lego Chiron beats the stock normal Chiron, just out of curiosity. Where am I? Here we are. This should be Lego and normal Chirons. Let's see if they reach some stock obviously i'm going to beat them because i've got 300 more horsepower let's go is it oh yeah there are some lego ones interesting straight away that's interesting the lego is faster stock so there you go all four lego chirons obviously including me beat the normal so even stock, it's faster and upgraded, it's a lot faster. That's pretty interesting. Now there probably was some fine tuning, maybe a slight upgrade or two I could have done to my standard shear on when I did that acceleration test, but even if there was something, it's not gonna make it faster than this. It's quite interesting that they've made it a lot faster, but yeah, one of the new cars that's been added to this update, the big Lego Bugatti Chiron, it's actually a pretty fast car, but unfortunately only maxes out at 272. Now what colour schemes have we got? We've got... I quite like that actually. We've got those two, we've got grey. Grey looks nice, we've got black. They've just kind of gone mental with colours. That... Oh, they've gone really mental. Oh, I was going to see if you could get chrome. That would be like amazeballs. So yeah, overall, to be honest, update 19 wasn't too bad. We got a fast car, like we do in most updates. We've still got the Aston Martin, that might be quite fast. But more importantly, tomorrow we'll have a video on the Lexus LFA, which straight away, I can tell you, has a pretty darn good car sound, which most of us have been wanting. To be honest, with this thing, you can actually, it feels the size that it is. It doesn't just feel like a reskinned normal shoe, and it does feel fat and tall, weirdly. You'll probably see what I mean when you drive it. It's quite nice, I like it. But as I said, guys, lots of more uploads are gonna start coming back out again. We're just gonna start reviewing the good cars. We wanna be in the first people to tell if it's got high horsepower or not. And as you know, I like to keep you up to date with all of the game updates. We'll go back to Need for Speed a little bit as well. Oh, it nearly took that corner at 270 miles an hour. Anyway, guys, that's the Lego Bugatti Chiron. Quickly showed you how to get it, and we had a little look at it. And yeah, it's definitely worth getting. Now, if you do not have the Lego expansion, I had to think there, you can come to Rivals, Monthly Rivals, and yes, you can click on this one and you it will let you drive the Lego Chiron if you don't have the Lego expansion. So if you want to use it, you can come here and use it without the expansion. So that's pretty cool that they've done that. So anyway, what? As if I've not read any you stupid game. So anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, keep an eye out for tomorrow, we have the Lexus LFA coming out. <laughs> leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later. Let's hope we get some good stuff in these last wheel spins. Boring. Boring.